Gloria Gomez was a local reporter for KOVR-TV in Sacramento. She says she spent two and a half years on this story, and she was one of the first reporters to interview Scott in his home. Here's an excerpt of her interview with Scott in 2003. Are you in any way connected to Lacey's disappearance? I had nothing to do with Lacey's disappearance. What and again, you? even if people out there question that, if they would just look at their hearts and make the effort to bring her home to her family, I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what people think of me. You know, as I've said, question my moral character if you want to, but look at your heart. Think of Lacey, her picture, her baby, and make the effort to bring her home. And that's that's a simple reality. That's a simple thing we need to do. Just, you know, um, think whatever you want of me. As long as you're out there and you're comfortable with yourself, that you're doing what you need to be doing to find Lacey and bring her home. Well, Gloria is joining us on satellite from Fox WTVT in Tampa. So she's one of the first reporters on the scene. What was your first impression of Scott and why? My first impression of Scott was that he was very disconnected. I know that at one point he, he did approach me and I asked him for an interview. He seemed very disconnected, didn't want to really talk to the media. You could tell he was very distant. Well, anything stand out about your interview once you did sit down with Scott and talk to him in his home? I know that he was very particular about me taking off my shoes when I first approached the house. So that was odd that I had to take off my shoes and, and that would be my first interview really without shoes on. But the whole time when I did interview him, I felt like he was very scripted. There was no emotion. Well, having spent two and a half years on this case, do you believe that Scott murdered Lacey? I think the jury got it right. Did you make up your mind because he behaved like a guilty person rather than a piece of evidence or a cluster of evidence that proved that he was guilty? No. Even when I approached him and said, hey, it's really important for you to reach out to the public, let them know the anguish, the pain you're feeling, he just didn't seem to see that, that that was important for the public to see that. And then as, you know, the days went on and we started, you know, revealing more and more facts about the case, you know, the fact that he had a boat that he didn't tell Lacey about, the fact that, you know, there were, Lacey's hair was found on the pliers in his boat, the fact that he had gone fishing on Christmas Eve, all of those things were sketchy from the beginning. And of course, it's not my opinion on whether or not he's guilty or not, it's the jury opinion but the whole point is we as journalists have to pursue the truth and that's exactly what we were doing and the fact that he was looking more and more guilty was just the evidence that was coming out we had nothing to do with it other than showing the public exactly what was going on in this case there were some things there that were said that you say just not true like for example that she didn't know about the boat Correct. You say that's not true. She did know about the boat. She didn't know about And you boat. say that she knows about the boat because you say that she had been seen at the warehouse where the boat was. Correct. Sharon Rocha would disagree with that. That's Lacey's mother. As a matter of fact, I spoke to Sharon Rocha. I had a one-on-one -on -one interview with her, and she said no. Lacey did not know about the boat because she would have told her about that boat. Well, then there would have been no reason for Detective Brocchini to withhold that from his report when he found it out. You know, th th those are eyewitnesses that say Lacey knew about the boat. That's corrobor corroborating that Scott said she knew about the boat. Mm -hmm. Scott is on death row with nobody explaining when or how he carried out this crime. Here's and he's on death row because he asked Gloria Gomez to take her shoes mm -hmm. off. But at the end of the day, that body was discovered where Scott Peterson went fishing. That you cannot deny.